Alright guys, and today I actually have a GTA 5 video, now you probably thought, you know, what's this doing on this channel, we thought this was primary FIFA based, but I'm going to try and uh, bring a bit of variety, which I have done, try to do uh, throughout FIFA, sometimes tries a lot of different games, not really gone down well, but I think GTA 5 will, and because I enjoy GTA 5, uh, GTA 5, sorry, I got used to the right, uh, right words, because um, I enjoy it that much, you know, I'm going to stick to it, uh, no matter what the views are really, because... I definitely want a GTA 5 fan base. Um, like I say, now um, in this video, in the background, just gonna be some gameplay of the Infernus, which is a return car from GTA 4, and I've got the the Bugatti Veyron. That's it. Um, later on, uh, you can see I customize both cars. I don't actually edit the car, so you know, upgrade it. I just uh, change the look of it, stuff like that. So. Uh, I'll have that in the background for you guys to watch, you know, maybe you guys have not got the game yet, you want to see what it looks like inside a shop, you know, here, here's just some stuff. But anyway, um, in this video we're just going to be talking about main stuff and also stuff that will be happening in uh, throughout the channel, stuff like that. Now, um, I did upload a video not too long ago, but um, because the web app just came out, it didn't get many views, so I deleted it, so uh, not many people know about this, but when, when online will come out, I'm actually going to do some f uh, funny compilations um, of just me playing the game with my mates because uh, we actually really do enjoy the campaign. Uh, we're all playing it together in a Skype call and when the online comes out it's going to be so funny uh, because all of us playing together so I'm going to do some sort of stuff like that. I know a lot of other people do it and I know some people have done it up the campaign already and I don't actually find them funny if I'm honest. It just seems to be pretty boring but probably because of the campaign. But online, the ones I'm going to do, it's going to be all of us talking, we're going to do stuff like Rob Banks, you know, all of us have bike races, you know, ride a bike off the highest mountain, you know, weird stuff like that. We're going to have an absolute, um, you know, mental, just outrage of stuff to do. But anyway, um, so that will happen sometime soon. That's obviously when multiplayer is released, which I do believe is the um, 1st of October. So yeah, and by the way, this is Bugatti Veyron now. If you do want a video on how where to find this, I will link one in the description. It's by uh, Zerka HD. Uh, he'll tell you how to get this car for free. It normally does cost a uh, million dollars, so uh, definitely a car to keep. But anyway, um, what I wanted to talk about is how this feels compared to other GTAs now. From GTA 4 to GTA 5, I want to look to the trailers, like the proper gameplay of it. It did not look a lot different. Now, if you look at this bit here, this guy's just like Sandman. If you ever watched Spider-Man 2, I think it is, or Spider-Man, yeah, Spider-Man 2, I think it is, or one of the Spider-Mans, if you've watched them, there's a Sandman guy. Now, this guy here, I don't even know what went on, but he's like camouflaged almost into the colour of the floor. It was really weird. He was like trying to get him a car. I was like, should I let him in or should I not? I was like, if I let him in, he might just start driving off with a car. I do not want that to happen. But anyway, um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen this guy before, but I haven't. It's just Weird, weird, fine. But anyway, um, like I say, it feels completely different. The driving feels more like Midnight Club. Like I know my friends say, it's like they've put Red Dead Redemption, Midnight Club, and GTA 4 all together. Like the driving's a lot, lot different. Uh, it does feel a lot better once you get used to it. But on each character, the the stats for driving is different. Obviously, all stats are different. So, you know, if you get the driving to 100%, you know, the driving's going to be a lot better for you. So, you know, stuff like that does benefit to it. Um, the guns, I can swap from guns um, like LB and everything slows down, that's really nice. Uh, the way you can change the radio, like I say, stuff like that where you can change it and it'll slow most down, that's really good. Uh, and also the special abilities, even though I haven't really used everyone's yet, you know, to the max. I've used uh, Franklin's quite a bit, but not um, not fully. But like I say, it does feel really nice, it's a really good game. Um, the looks of the game, if you look at some of the, if you look at the graphics here, they look amazing. If, like, if you look at the Bugatti Vader on here, look at the... This looks really nice. Uh, there's a lot more cars in the game which I really do enjoy. Everything just looks like 10 times better. And when you go to Grove Street, if you drive around the area, you will you may understand me if you played San Andreas. Uh, when you drive around the area and drive down the streets, it proper reminds you of the, the streets around San Andreas. It really does and it's you know good they added that in. You know The look of San Andreas is in there. You know the old streets they used to have. Um, now what I really do enjoy about the game is um, the, the customization you can have, the, you know, the amount of, well, let's just say I, I like to drive a lot in this game, I, you know, get a Bugatti Veyron and just drive about, you know, you know, go rob a bank or something like that, or go rob a shop, you know, in the car and drive away from the cops. I, I enjoy doing stuff like that. Now, obviously, you know, with the amount of new roads there is, you know, stuff like that, I really do enjoy it and be able to rob shops, you know, it's really good. Just having that amount of customization and proper feels 
like a, a Grand Theft Auto game where you think, you know, Robin, you know, Grand Theft Auto, you know, theft, you know, Robin stuff, you know, it's really good how they've proper, properly implemented that into the game. You know, it's really nice to see that in. Uh, it's really good. But like I say, the cars are really nice as well. I really like all the cars. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this little general talk sort of thing. You know, I just wanted to, you know, talk with you guys. But anyway, like I say, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like down below and also a comment. And I'll see you all in the next video, guys. Thank you all for watching.